of a high school football game was tragically overshadowed by gunfire and it damaged a vehicle last week. Now KSLA's Andrew Wellman talked with police and the school district about security at evening games. Um, we want our citizens to know that these sports are being policed. We do have security on the grounds. However, if they see something that is suspicious, a person with a firearm or anything of that manner, to contact a law enforcement person, um, that way so we can take action. Last Thursday, a vehicle was hit by gunfire outside of Independence Stadium during a football game between Captain Shreve and Huntington High School. Incident is under investigation and no arrests have been made. Today, we talked with Shreveport law enforcement about security at the games. Our response to these types of incidents uh, requires multiple agencies working together. Uh, the Caddo Parish School Board as well as Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office and the Shreveport Police Department all share different uh, parts of security of these football games and, and athletic games that are consisting of our high school sports. He added that every location presents unique challenges when it comes to security so people need to call police or deputies if they see something. Caddo School's Interim Superintendent Lisa Woolfolk said this about security. The safety of our community is a top priority and we will continue working closely with our law enforcement partners to enhance security measures at sporting events. Caddo Schools has a comprehensive safety plan in place. These measures include controlled access points with metal detectors, on-site security personnel, and regular coordination with local law enforcement. All agencies say they can create a safe, secure space for fans, but it's extremely important that if you see or hear anything suspicious, let security know immediately. In Shreveport, Andrew Wellman, KSLA News 12.